Presenting our officials of this match, first referee, Ms. Jocelyn Del Rosario, international referee. Second referee, Mr. Angelo Hal, national referee. Introducing the starters of the Akari Chargers. Calling on their team captain of number six, Michelle Cobb. Wearing jersey number five, Gretchen Soltanes. At number 10, Princess Ezra Madrigal. At number 11, Erica Raagas. Jersey number 14, Mariofi Sharma. Number 24, Eli Soyud. Starting libero is number one, Bam Pineda. With our head coach, Rafi Osuela. Now let's meet the starting lineup of Petrogas Angels. Starting with our team captain of number nine, Remy Palma. Wearing jersey number five, Joy Dacoron. At number eight, Isa Montilias. Jersey number 10, Brooke Van Sickle. Number 20, Jonah Sabete. Starting libero is number 22, Beloved Barbon. Head coach is Mr. Koji Chuzu Rapa. This match is under the regulations and supervision of the Games and Amusement Board. Name the team with. And just about ready to put the ball into serve. Look at these women. They're going bananas here and they're having fun. And we have some good players in this starting lineup. Michelle Kopp will be the opening setter. On the other side of the floor, look at this. This is even wackier. Brooke Van Sickle and Isa Pontilias, who is ageless, I tell you. And um, Baby Love Barbone, who is such a great uh, libero out of the USD program. Why does USD have so many great liberos? Very scrappy. Oh, so, no? Uh-huh. And we're just about ready to get the uh, ball into play. Jocelyn Del Rosario is the woman in the perch. I love it when she calls the games because she runs a very tight ship. She's, of course, the Filipino international FIVB referee. And the captain, she's clarifying who is the captain. As the captain is the only person who can address the officials. And we are ready to get this game underway. Janelle Chang is going to serve. And we are underway, and what a way to start. Yes. Are those serves practice? Those serves? Yes. Okay. I remember back in Ateneo, Coach O would have a tape above, in the middle of uh -huh. the okay. antenna, and we would have to serve in between that. In between. So it's an actual drill okay. performed in training. And so it gets that to bite. It's on that open corner. We're tied at one. Well, now Elise Soyud is still starting in this match, filling in for Mama D. She was the shining star in their last match against Farm Fresh. I said this earlier in the pregame, targeting all corners, zone one, zone five. Oh, this is a mix of generation of yes. players with different eras. Chang, who played for CSB, Von Sickel, University of Hawaii. Soyud pushes it to the back row, gets it to buy. <laughs> Lucky shot by Eli Soyud, targeting that zone five. And an early challenge issued by Coach Koji Zurabara. It looked out from our perspective. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's allow see. them to review it, of course. Players reviewing their positions as well. And we are awaiting the official decision on this. Ball in, ball out is the challenge. Oh, inside. It's, it's inside. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it looked out from uh, one uh, angle. Uh, okay. 
Okay, a carry, a ca that challenge rather was unsuccessful. Right. Okay, Princess Madrigal will be serving. Nice dig. Mm. Downstairs and a clean connection. You know, Chang activating her middle blockers early on on first attack. Early on with that be quick attack. I mean, this is what you love about Chang, making those early risky decisions. And Franny is somewhere in the venue. Tell us what you have. This is the first time Gretchel Soltones will be facing her former team in the Petrogas Angels. So I asked her how she's feeling before this match. And she told me this is a game with nothing to lose. She knows what the Petrogas Angels are capable of, but she also knows what the Akari Chargers are capable of. And it's all about those in-game adjustments. She does believe that there is a slight edge because she knows her former teammates' tendencies. So it's really about how she uses her experience to help her team get the win today. Now, this report was brought to you by the PV, by the the Pilipinas Live app get the most extensive PVL coverage for only 149 pesos. Back to the game. Well done, Franny. And I just wanted to point out, you know, Ellie saw you had that great game and it's spilling over into this <laughs> game. And when a player has a good game, the confidence just soars and she had a good run while attacking has, has produced the points of Akari so far. And Sir Seb, usually Ellie saw you does not start for Akari. Yes. So, I mean, she's embracing this new role with open arms. Here's Bank Pineda, whom we have covered through the years, always a joy. So with Pontillas, who has won championships everywhere. Remy Palma says, why is this ball returning? Van Sigel puts it into the air. Sabete! I mean, when you want to get that side out, you go to the girl who has the hot hand, and that is Jonas Sabete. Take a look at that. Elevation, the athleticism, finding that hole of defense of Akari. Going into the day, Sabete, Jonas Sabete is number eight in scoring. And in the meantime, Remy Palma puts two hands on that ball. That ball going nowhere. Remy Palma reading that one two play early on by Michelle Cobb. And Sir Sev, you were saying this earlier, Akari is a mixture of vets and also newbies. As for Petrogas, there's mostly veterans yes. in the first six. So let's see how this will all play out. In the meantime, General Cheng, no angle on that particular attempt to dig. It is currently five to four here in the opening set. Glad you're with us here, catching us on our different platforms, of course. It's a busy weekend for sports, for One Sports, One Sports Plus, Filipinas Live. We're glad that you can be part of all of it. Pontillas with a great win. I mean, that's what you call vet moves. Pontillas going for that last second with that drop ball. Bank Paneda not ready for that. The key there is timing. You know? yes. You're actually looking at it as it happens in almost slow motion when yep. you go up. There's Cobb. Yes, you go ahead and say it. That was a nice set okay. <laughs> by Cobb. <laughs> Sabete has rejected, and it's uh, uh, the Angels unable to lift it. And the point will go to Akari. I mean, after that win against Farm Fresh, you see a different Akari. They're, they have more urgency, more will to win. And of course, Gretchen Sultan is now, she is in the front row, and she's playing against her previous team. First time wearing pink. Hold on. Yeah. Granny says hello. Look at that. Look at that. That's swag. <laughs> and with a smile as well. Oh, I'll never forget that smile back in Epi. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. And you you tried to kill their side, but she smiles back at you. Hi. Hello. <laughs> She's a member of my all smile team. In the meantime, the Negrense, Sabete, sends it long. You know, earlier in Franny's report, she mentioned that Gretchel said, I mean, there's positives going up, up against your former team, but sometimes there's some cons to it because you can overthink their movements and it might go the other way. And you're over-analyzing. Yes, you're overthinking. Yeah, overthinking. I saw a book in the bookstore today, How to Avoid the Deeper Meaning of Life and Just oh, wow. Don't Overthink. What did you oh, take? Look at oh. I saw you, and it was the third try already. Good effort by Bang. So, all in all, don't overthink in life. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Like volleyball, it should be instinctive. <laughs> we'll take a short break. We have the first technical timeout.
Okay. Ginugulat ako ng mga tambol dito. Arena Plus, Astig sa sports. Kapag may rienda na kasi ito. Bibo ito mga ito. <laughs> Eli Soyo has contributed already three points. Miss Mosi Rabena, we were together yesterday in the uh, Spikers Turf uh, press conference. And that's coming to you on March 13. Uh, Camille Cruz is the team manager of uh, Petrogas. This is their building, these yes. two teams. They train here. They're turf. They live here. We are just visiting, actually. But well, you, you were saying this venue, so historic, so many valuable stories. Yes. We only could talk, really. Iconic. Rachel to the back row. Sabetin, aware of that. Van Sickle. Oh, mm. wicked. Her elevation, the athleticism, it's very difficult to actually dig those corner pocket zones of zone five. I mean, her elevation is actually above the block of Akari. Brooke Van Sickle is number four in scoring in the tournament so far. Here comes Rami Palma, who used to shine brightly for FEU. Ah, Hule. Hule is a good guy, Madrigal. Madrigal was actually trapped in that sequence, going for that big quick attack. But Joy Takaron easily reading that stuff block. 10 to 6, some separation has been created. Timeout by Akari. ginagawa nila, binibilisan nila ang service. O, di ba? Pagka first mo ka dyan, kuha agad mo na yung first ball. O, Ezra. Yes, di ba? Wala. Eh, yeah, ha? O, one stop mo wala. Wala. Huwag natin palayo okay, eh. Okay. One good pass mo na. One good pass. I mean, Coach Rafi talking to his squad about having that first ball. Akari needs to understand that Petrogas will not take it lightly when it comes to the service line. So you really have to have that stable platform because you won't be able to run your offense smoothly if Michelle Cobb is constantly running. You know, the coaches, uh, the ones that do it well, like, try to make the game simple for the players, are already under duress of the game. In the meantime, Van Sickle's shot is out. A little overcooked in that sequence, trying to go for that sharp cross-court attack. That's Brooke. Coach uh, Koji, voice operating his team. Yeah. Oh, they're, uh, they're in sync. Either Coach Koji's Tagalog is better or the Japanese of the ladies <laughs> is so much better these days. Here comes Gretchen. Oh, oh, it's a dig. No chance to attack. That's blocked. The Corona is blocked, but here's a push. Familiar move from Janelle Chang. Did she get it? It's inside. The corner is hers. I mean, we got to start with that easily read one-two play by Bang Paneda, getting that first dig. But Eli Soyo targeting the corners of zone one. There seems to be a hole in the defense here on the side of Petrogas. I love the stepping out of Eli Soyo, really. She's normally just on the sidelines, yes. not a starter. She's enjoying the starter's role. In the meantime, there's a net touch. Sometimes players need that one game yes. to create magic, and I think that might have been the game for Eli Soyud against Farm Fresh. Often you would call Eli Soyud, he'd come in to serve, you know. Double sub. Double sub, and now it's a nice development. Here comes Janelle Chang's serve in play. Look at those jumping, but Eli. At the back, block touch. Back. I think there's a block touch on that. Sequence. You saw that so well. Yeah. <laughs> I think it touched Brooke's fingers. Ew. There's a lack of press in the blocking formation of Brooke in that sequence. Ezra Madrigal. I said. La, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Inside. Uh, and that is it. You could hear the impact of her hand to the ball, and you see the connection of Chang and Brooke. Take a look at that swing. I mean, usually spikers target the middle blocker who just served. Here's Van Sigel. Nice serve. Oh, wicked. And it's 13 to 9. You see Brooke targeting former Petrogas Angel. 
Get your sotones. Van Sickel has already four points in the first set, and it's the lead currently enjoyed. And look at that. What a serve. You know, the school she comes from, you know this better than I do. The University of Hawaii, that is a championship program yes. in the U.S. Division and it's, one. it's not just because of the palm trees, the beach, and everything. <laughs> it's I, I I once attended the conference there, and they have a shop there that sells nothing but volleyball wow. merchandise. It's all around. Yes, look at that serve, still red hot. So Donis digs it over. Compiatura is there. Look at this, but yes, right where she wants it. Dilang na ibaon, and that's long. Lack of wrist action in that back row attack by Gretchen Sotones. It's really coming from the serve, actually, Sir Sev of Brooke. This is what Coach Rafi was saying in the timeout earlier, the receive. And Van Sickle's still there. Look at that. Woo! What a serve. Unstoppable. And we'll hit the second technical timeout. Watch this. Right above the net, targeting Faith Nespero's five to zero run for Petrogas. Good news mga kapatid, napapanood na rin tayo sa pinakabagong free-to-air channel na talaga namang para sa Pinoy, ang RPTV. Tutok na sa Analog TV Channel 9, DTT Channel 19, at sa 183, at sa higit sa 300 cable at satellite providers sa buong bansa sa signal play. So far, Brooke Van Sickle with three aces, ops to go, soft work, and short in that last play. Akari fighting for it. Cobb. Two touches. Chang. Mm, definitely a yeah. touch on that swing. Those are vet moves coming from Jonas Abete targeting the blocking of Akari. But now we have a double sub here, I believe. Oh, wait, after the point. <laughs> There's a challenge. Their challenge, did they hear it right? I think Coach Rafi was going to go for the double, double sub, sub of Mama D and Jaja, but don't think they allowed it. Uh, referee Jocelyn uh, not allowing the subs to get into the uh, substitution area. There's a challenge because it's eh, a block touch. Block touch challenge. So we'll settle this challenge and we'll let the subs come in in just a short while. I mean, this run is all starting from Rook's serve. She already yes. has three aces. Yes. And uh, here it is on your screens. Yes. I think who challenged? It was Akari, diba? Akari that challenged. And Coach Koji said, Thank you. Don't worry, get a go sign on star. Nakagulo narito kung kusino Akari ang challenge. Ne? Sandale, sandale. Ayusin natin. 
Well, well, you know what confuses people sometimes is the successful and successful user. Yes. It's just simply good challenge, bad the challenge. Bad challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and a euphemism. But uh, Rafi has his arms on his uh, sides and. Uh, Some confusion here. Yeah, and coach, uh, referee Joseph Del Rosario, of course, trying to sort it out with the uh, review officials. Here we go. No block touch. What they showed yeah, yeah. earlier was a different. Yeah, it was a previous. Angle, uh, that was right. that the play in contention yep. in being uh, discussed. So the score stands at 16 10. Maraquino and uh, Din Din. Yeah, Din Din is in. I think she. I met her daughter Kanina in the Yelaka. Yes, she was they're always present. Always beautiful. Uh, such a beautiful baby. So because she is the highest paid volleyball player <laughs> in the locker room of Bahari. Uh oh, oh, too hard to handle. I mean, this is the plus of coming off the bench with the double sub. You have Jaja Maragino at instant impact with that ace targeting look Barbon. Up, look at how large that front line is for a guy being faith. Triple wall right there. Yes, I dare you to spike this. Let's see, Chang, Sabete couldn't care less. Attacks nonetheless, here we go. The soft stop and that probably, oh, missed Outside, it. Outside, right. Yeah. Right idea of going for that off-speed attack, but just a little too out. And Coach uh, Koji has opted to talk things over, brings in the team into a huddle here. We'll take a short break. Here at the Field Sports uh, Region, Sam Sarmenta, Jamie La Victoria, and Franny Reyes uh, taking care of your second game in the three game schedule here today. Maraginot will be serving. Perez is the new setter for the Petro Gas Angels. Here comes Ivy. To the pipe we go. Van Sickle blasting away. Counter by Fadness Perez. Picked up from close to the floor. Touched by Ben Sickle. This could take a while. We've got a good rally going. Isaac got to it. Sabete denied entry. This could take a while. Pontillas and Bak Pineda was learned how to play that libero position. Hello, everybody wants to be a center. In the meantime, that's out. <laughs> Jonas Sabete doing what she does best. Fooling the blockers of Akari. Simple movements, nothing too flashy, just touching the hands of Mama D in that sequence. Exactly, and it's a spike of the set. Brought to you by Duncan, Pasalubo Campaya. Nakoron serving. Sabete already with three barkers here. No chance to lift it up. Mama D with that roll shot, targeting Brooke. Akari slowly trailing behind here. Beautiful set by Jaja, reverse set. And it's a four point distance that uh, Akari has to overcome here. Faith will be serving. Bullet. Perez. Montillas. Bang. And a bullet. Bang. In the meantime, too hot to handle for Van Sickle. We can now talk about Gretchen Sotone. She's in the front row. 
do expect Jaja to constantly feed her the ball. Yes. Spike of the set brought to you by Jaqen. Pasaju Bong Ngapayan. And the lead has been reduced to three. Peyton Esperos will continue to serve. Francisco, single coverage. Is it? Oh, it no. did. Brings them in closer. Two point difference between the two sides. Let's see that replay. Jaja going for Mama D. And Akari changed when Jaja started playing with yes. that double substitution. Different styles of sets compared to Michelle Cobb. I mean, you can't have same of the two sets, yes. right? So this is good for Akari. They're looking good. They're just only down two points. Palma zips it, whips it against the blockers. Uh oh, problematic. They have to push it over. Bang keeps it in play. Ah, it's red hot. I mean, it's also good that Mama D is coming off the bench because she has more rest compared to her other matches where she's constantly fed the ball, being the star. But I think this is a good situation that Akari has with Jaja and Dindin being the double sub. Yes. 17 16, and a lead of as much as five or six points has been reduced. It's a run right now. It's a 4 0 run coming from the serve of Faith. You know, sometimes you got to minimize the miss serves because it actually disrupts your rhythm. And Isa Maiso Pontillas will be serving. Suddenly, yes, sir. the Angels have to tiptoe towards the finish. Oh, yes, sir! <laughs> Fifi Sharma with that A quick attack. Now I'm waiting for the growl of Fifi Sharma, her reaction, but you can see she's more calm now. <laughs> Very firm. Serving Sharma. We're in a close one all of a sudden. And the Mumi ego rotation and anyway. Petrogas. Yeah. Yep. Van Sigel is still in the back. Perez on two. Tilias Perez, they want to go to this woman. Ooh. I mean, whether she's in the front row, whether she's in the back row, Brooke will always have the hot hands. That's actually coming from a missed set from Ivy. That's a bump set, not the easiest of attacks. And now she gets to swing to the front. Yep. Took a while because Nis Perez was serving for a stretch there, and there was that 4 to nothing run. Right. That's the it. touch. Oh, that's inside. That back row has been a porous area for the Petrogas Angels. And you know, there's added motivation, added strength in that attack from Gretchen Soltones. Of course, this is her former team, the Petrogas Angels. And as you said, Domingo, who represented all of us in the very challenging uh, Thai uh, league there. In the meantime, Perez. Off the block, Brooke. And that's what I noticed also with the attacks of Brooks when they were up against PLDT. They can't seem to get that stuffed block on her attack. Palma will be serving. They serve. Said Domingo striking from the middle. And delivered by Van Sigel in a swipe. Well, Brooke is in the front row. Ivy Pears constantly feeding her the ball. Sabini Ivy Pears, why do we why should we make it so hard? Let's just get the porcento play. Yeah. Get, get her to score and get this first set right away. Cobb is back in the game. Maragina is out. Soya, the starters, are back. I, Sir Sev, I would say that was a successful... Yes, um, yes, stretch of the sub, huh? Yep, yeah, because sometimes it actually doesn't work. Yes. It actually does the opposite. Cobb has to kneel down to keep it in play. Perez! Drills it in! Ivy Perez being offensive in that sequence. Let's see that replay. Stunt.
Got a timeout here. Let's tune in. Kunin mo na, kunin mo na. Ikaw na, ikaw na kailangan kamukha doon. Play mo. Um, it's yung kumba, tapos sa likod pa lang. Sige, magbihan mo si, ano, ah. sa likod. Si Ate Eddie. Eddie, patakbuhin to. So, yeah? Si Eddie, ako kumbata sa Okay. Ako mm. natin. Ikaw? Sige, go. Okay, sige. One stop tayo, ha? Makuha natin yung, yung side out. Ibayan natin yung block. Okay? Okay. okay. Get seven day preview access to NBA, PBA, UAB, BBL, and other leagues and exclusive shows when you download the Filipinos Live app. Register now for free. And you know, um, if you haven't been watching volleyball a lot, it may sound very cryptic and coded, but it's very simple, really. They want to run something that they know, they want to jam this run. Now, resuscitate the revive. Oh, I speak too soon. Remy sends it into the net. I think the momentum of Remy Palma. You know, I want to talk about what Coach Rafi was saying um, to Akari. He, uh, he was actually asking Cobb what her play was. And I like that coaches ask. Well, let's get back to that later, Seb. Yeah, let's, see, uh, <laughs> let's uh, visit the uh, timeout and try to sort out what Coach Koji will try to say. Do it the cheap ball, no up. He think you can spike. Yes, coach. Okay. Margaret, say hi. Let's go. No less, one go. Change the mind, one catch. Okay, I go. Now, you don't look at me, but I'm beginning to miss Mona Bagat Singh, who's one of the uh, managers and uh, assistant. Yes. I would consider her an assistant coach. She would translate that. <laughs> I, I would watch her body language and she would translate it for the players. I tease Mona about it. I go, Mona, your Japanese must be so much better nowadays. <laughs> and she just looked at me. 22 to 19. Um, well, no difference. And then, uh, see Coach Koji, like, as long as the language is clear. Sabi sa akin, by the way, Marla Pablo was telling me, I will translate for you, sir, if you like. <laughs> In the meantime, they're sorting out the rotation. I think, I think, I think. Who is it the proper places? Put referee Jocelyn scratching her head. Are we good to go? So, mahirap pa mag... Many awkward moments in this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some humps and bumps. You know, referee Jocelyn likes to run a tight ship. She wants to be sure. Here's Gretzel Soltonis. Sabeta. He said. Banquet. Too tight. Nako. Peligroso. I mean, that play goes to the Petrogas Angels, Michelle Cobb. She's also back row, so she's actually not allowed to go for that one-two play. She forgot. Sometimes when the switching happens, you can, you can forget it. Eh? Yes. Perez, who has played well in relief, oh. misses that target. Being that lefty setter, trying to target that zone one. You know what I like about Petro? When they change their liberos between Baby La Barbon and Tempiatura, hardly anything changes. They seem it's to stable. have the same. Liberos. Sometimes when you change liberos, some uh, discrepancy happens. Yes. Uh, the, the flow liberos. changes. Yeah. In the meantime, we arrive at set point. I think Petrogas is doing such a great job of getting that side out right away compared yeah, to that's so well Akari. Said, yeah. Because with the serve, you can initiate your action, make it a weapon of the serve, uh, which Van Sickle has already done. There is an attack. A touch by Joy in that sequence. That's unfortunate because Brooke was the server and she had three aces yes. earlier in the first set. Small, slim chance for Akari here. They have to uh, catch up. Wow. Wow. Sabete has big sooner feet. It's a beautiful set by Ivy Pears. I think the block was 
little bit late in that sequence coming from Akari. Boy, they, the nice thing about Petro guys is that they have so many weapons right. that they can go to. Van Sickle, definitely one of them. Sabete is another. And she has done everything, even from the service area. I mean, she has all the qualities it takes to be a great open spiker, whether it comes to blocking, receive, and of course, most importantly, attacking. And we are done with the first set. Took a while before we arrived at our destination, but this is now part of the history of the Premier Volleyball League. 33 minutes of action, first set going the way of Petrogas. Okay, at the second uh, technical timeout, uh, it was 16 to 9, and suddenly Akari said, let's make this uh, more of a game. And they had a 4 to nothing run, and they were able to catch up. It was close, and it was like a 100-meter uh, dash sprint during a long stretch, but uh, too many weapons were uh, Petrogas, actually. That's right, Petrogas. You have Chang and Ivy who set that first set you have many weapons, Sabete, Palma, Brooke, and I mean, Akari is going up against a team that is full of veterans. They have that mentality of, you know, been there, done that. They know what to do. They know how the game works. As for Akari, well, let's take a look at the set one stats. 13 attacks for Akari and 14 from Petrogas. Two blocks from Petrogas and one from Akari. It's the aces from the Petrogas. Yes, that was the difference, enough. And also just the time, what you don't see on your screens also is the timing of the blocks, the timing of the aces yes. that can disrupt the momentum of your team. But when Brooke is in the back row and she's about to serve, it's important that Akari stays low because three of the, four of the aces, three of them are from her. You know what, Akari has so many interesting parts of their wheel, but they're still getting acclimatized to who they will go to on a regular basis. Yes. And uh, they're trying to develop an understanding of a system that they would like to go to and rely on in the days ahead. That's right, Coach Rafi is still trying to find that perfect mix. But as for Petrogas, they can afford yeah. switching up the setters because they're vets. And they've been through the preseason tournament also. Right. I mean, Petrogas has experienced a lot of highs and lows. As we see this replay here, Ellie Soyu just going down the, uh, down the line. Yeah, and Ellie scratches the scoreboard first and puts one for Akari. The cut and they done by Brooklyn Sigal. Let's go to Franny. Yes, the Petrogas 
Angels are full of veterans, but it's all about that communication and adjustments that they make in game. Like I said earlier, and I also got to speak with Brooke Van Sickle, who told me that really adjusting to Philippine volleyball is all about the technicalities. Everyone here is scrappy on defense, but she's still getting used to the quick offense or the quick sets to the middle. She said that as a player, she really has to work on the timing of her block. Yes, she she delivered those service aces. Yes, she can defend and she can attack, but she really, really needs to work on that block if she wants to help her team to full capacity. Now, this report was brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PBL coverage for only 149 pesos. Back to the panel. And you know what, Franny and uh, Jamie, I suspect that in her previous team, she didn't have to do that much blocking. And that's why she's making that adjustment. In the meantime, Maiso Pontilias punches it through the gap. In between that hole of the block, there's a lack of unison in that block between Faith Nesperos and Fifi Sharma. But I like how Brooke is slowly adjusting to the system here. And also, I'm sure her teammates were also taller as well. That is a good point. Middle blockers yes. much taller than the ones in the Philippines. Boy, this is a lethal combination. I'm going to say it out loud. Petrogas is a contender. They are going to go deep into the tournament here. Look at this. They even have Chi Sayan now as center. Three setters. Three setters. One tall, one in Ivy. Uh, two veterans in Janelle Chang and the ageless Chi Sayan. Good have hit these when I the said. board. Ah! My Zopontilia says, why is this ball returning? Give it to me. I'll hit it. Chi was going down there. You know? Wow. Chi <laughs> wanted to give it because yes. he had made that save earlier. Smart setting. And I think that was their combination play coming from a uh, free ball. Almost didn't work, you know. Going for that back quick attack, but using her smarts, targeting zone two. We need more urgency, yeah, I would yeah. say, on the side of Akari. High up, and too hot to handle for Van Sickle. Faith targeting, right. Last mm -hmm. against the Faith. I mean, Faith adjusting well with Michelle Cobb. She didn't play in the last match against Farm Fresh, but it's good to see her slowly finding her footing here in this match. You know, when you watch, you've been watching Faith Ness Paris for the longest time on television, you don't think she's that tall. She's a tall woman. Very yeah, tall. She's ta a very tall and very strong woman. Too strong, in fact. <laughs> and she got that out of control. Uh, but she's uh, a very tall woman. In the meantime, here's another tall woman, the veteran, Isa Maiso Dilius. Long time uh, reliable player of UST. Sayed Zabete high up and high. Net touch by Fifi Sharma. And this is what is uh, hurting Akari. These unforced errors. Yes. You. Right. I mean, the unforced errors are you're giving your opponent three points. And Petrogas will maximize on those errors Correct. of Akari. Maragino is back on the hardwood. Short. Oh, very I think, lucky. I think she, what? She served There's before the, the whistle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that's OK. There's Too excited. No, yeah, there's no violation for yeah. that yet. In play. So it was a big hit. Chief side, that's it in. <laughs> Using her smarts, all the experience in her volleyball career, going for that beautiful one-two play right behind Bank Veneda. Ageless G Side was already coached as an assistant to Ramil uh, de Sousa de la Salle. Too many errors on the side of Akari in the second set. In the meantime, we've got a first technical TO. We'll be back.
Marina Blas, Astinx Sports here in the second set of this match between Petrogas and Akari. First set took uh, only 33 minutes for Petrogas to win it at 25 21. There were some tense moments for both sides. Good run by Akari, but they could not take over or overtake the Angels. In the meantime, we're back in play. Seb Sarmente, Jamie LaVittoria, and uh, Franny Ray is taking care of your game wherever you're catching us. Here's Pontillas. Bank Pineda, the reverse set. That is outside. Yep. Oh, check, check ball. Yep. Check on Fifi Sharma's running attack. Nobody uh, questioning it. <laughs> they knew it. They knew, yeah, it. they knew it. See Coach Koji, a little mm -hmm. that I can sense. He's very concerned about their position, yes. where they are. He's not worried about the attacking. He's not worried about that. It's more the, where you are on the floor. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh that's touch. a net touch, yep. clearly so. So it was a little too tight. And Jonah could not uh, manage her flight, actually. 8 5 is the count here. Watch this. Up, oh, yeah, too, too close. Yep. Skip. Let's work with Fifi Sharma. Uh oh. Messy first ball, but that will make do. That's outside, and that's two straight points by the Chargers. You see Brooke trying to go to that zone one from that back row attack, zone five rather. Sharma still serving. Yep, and we'll have the uh, coach Koji with the timeout. Too heavy ball, wrong to serve, too heavy. The other team on the front to serve. Make sure make a basic, return to, return to basic. One catch. Yes, coach. Yeah. One more, one more. You are work, you are work. Copy, coach, copy. Okay. Okay, everyone, let's go. Make a pass. Hey, Petrogas. And they said there is no democracy in sports. Those are, that's a timeout in three different languages. <laughs> okay, one on one, heart to heart conversations with Mark Mitchell and Gila Stenson tackling their life stories on and off the court. Puso to Puso exclusive on Filipinas Live app. Download and register now for free. He wants them to go back to basics. One catch. One catch. One stop. And it doesn't need to be a fancy play. Yes, yes. You know, there may not be a very vivid, very clear Japanese way of playing anymore nowadays. In the 1964 Olympics, there was when volleyball was introduced into the Olympic program. But Olymp Japanese coaches want efficiency in your basics. Yes. And that's why their drills are so rigid. Yes, I mean, the Japanese, when they mean basic, it's basic digs, serves. Yes, yes. Simple plays. Which is like their food, their cars, yes. their technology. <laughs> and the, the Japanese have a principle called Kaizen, which is constant improvement. Uh, when you do something, you want to constantly improve. Bettering and, yourself. Yes. And Sabet has just come out in this Killing team. it. Yes. Nice set. Exacto. Ooh, I missed that from Gretchen, really. Van Sigel, oh, bang, 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 bang. T, hello, Remy does not force it. Lively exchange, Pontillas, Chi Saed. Let's play Porcento Valley. You know, this is the difference between the Petrogas Angels and Akari. This set to Remy Palma was actually a bit off, but she made a way. She didn't do anything fancy. And then she said, ending it with Brooke, who has the hot hands. These are the quick in-game adjustments Absolutely. that you see. Absolutely. Well said, partner. In the meantime. I said. Oh! 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 A cute little dump there by Remy Palma. 
And a move brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. Tusok na tusok. And I don't think dump was the right word. Maybe dump. <laughs> oh, yeah. <it laughs> I might, think dump. Might even be more precise. In the meantime, this is a free ball sent over to the Petrogas side. Here comes Syed. We're playing for Sento Volleyball. Let's not make this too hard, really. So smart. Targeting the block of Akari. And we have it at 12-7. Timeout requested by Akari. Okay, stepping out of the timeout, we'll let Sam uh, send it down to Franny. Seb and Jamie, I actually wanted to join your discussion about this Japanese style of coaching and the idea of constant improvement. Remy Palmo was actually telling me that Coach Koji always reminds them that he is a Japanese coach, so he demands discipline and excellence. Sabi nga niya, yung two hours of practice nila, pang three hours na pagod. They jam pack their practices, they're more efficient now, and they know that that will translate to the game that they're playing. Constant improvement nga naman. Kaizen, as you were saying, so. Thank you very much, Rani. It's uh, a principle that is followed by Japanese companies, it is followed right. by uh, teachers as well. In the meantime, look at this control of the game by Petro Garcia. Now, it's Akari's op opportunity to respond. That's perfectly yeah. done. Said Domingo whips it against the block. I mean, you have said Domingo in the front. She's one of the vet middle blockers here. Smart play by Jaja. They need that side out. Might as well go to your vet middle blocker. We haven't talked too yeah. much also about Seth. She did not start also here today. In the meantime, ooh, that's a wasted serve. It's very unfortunate on the side of Akari. Now, when you compare both teams, we've seen Cobb play, we've seen Jaja play, and now Petrogas has three setters that have played, but <laughs> with Petrogas, they're able to execute that because exactly. they're vets. Nice set by Maraginot on the reverse. That is what Jaja is very good at, sometimes giving her spikers no block at all. Yes, and she can bring home a lot of Duncan Pasalugong Nambayan because of that spike of the set. There's a crowd in the front line of uh, Akari. What a serve. Oh, yes, sir. It's an ace. Sabete was a mile away from receiving that. It's a beautiful serve by Gretchen Soltones. But Coach Koji also he calms them down. When they make an error, calms them down. Right. Okay, get back, one point, back. That's a good mindset. Even if you're up 10 points or down 10 points, you should still stay calm regardless. She side says, relax. From the back row, Soltan is unable to Hammer it. Span Sigel. Her shot in play. Reverse. Soyud! Yes! Soyud having the hot hands for the Akari Chargers. I mean, Jaja Maragino knowing who to set at the right time. Joy Dakaron also very late to that block in that sequence. I have never seen Soyud so confident. Different light. Oh, what a set. The Coron almost had it there. Cut shot, Pontilias. Parang may pitcher ang mga, ang, ano eh, Petrogas eh. They have a starter, they have a middle pitcher, and a finisher. And those three setters that they have. But in the meantime, oh, that is too strong. Is there a net touch? No net touch. Little overcooked in that rally by Marciano here. Oh, I think there's a there, there's net touch. touch. There is. So, 
Janine Marchana's shot. Some changes. Uh, Galdones is in for the first time. Lucky break for Akari. Kesselin uh, Galdones also from the USD program. Ah! Ah, uh, position problem. Right, right. And actually, when you have that receiving pattern in the back, Jonas Abete is actually hiding, so Barbon needs to take control of the back. But now they switched it to Jonah in the front and then Pontilius in the back. So it's all about that communication. Okay. And Sickles shot. This will go, and we are tied at 14. Janine Marciano, instant impact, tooling the block of the Petrogas Angels. And that's coming from a break ball. That's not the easiest of angles yeah, to attack. The Zambeda Red Lioness roaring loudly here. We're tied at 14. Great comeback by Akari. Well, Akari that's inside. Six to zero run in that sequence. You know, we had anticipated this match to go long, actually. Yeah. It looked like it was going three sets, but suddenly, um, might not be. There's a challenge here. Foot, foot. Yeah. On a be back row attack. Be here and you're meeting. Yeah. Right. And if this is successful, good eye by the Akari coaching staff. In the meantime, earlier today, we had PLDT winning against uh, Capital One in uh, straight sets. The LDT now um, with a 3-1 card, trying to catch up with the early leaders, Signal at 3-0, same with Dreamline and Chocobucho. But Petrogas not too far behind, but 2-1 uh, trying to join that party at the top. Harry needs some uh, seasoning, some time to be more together. And they're stepping out of, of a different coach, uh, new system also. Yeah, they're adjusting adjusting to the new players as well. Yeah, See that, that yeah, footfall. Hello. No footfall. That's a clean attack by Jonas Abete. Could have been a strategic move by the coaches. Yeah. Sometimes they are assertive. Sometimes they sh nudge each other. Sige, challenge me. Sige, challenge me. Let's see where it goes. Ooh, wild. We're tied at 15. Fortunate error here by Chi Syed. Okay, now Petrogas is a looking a little bit more serious now. Yes. Now that it's tied. Montilius with the cut. This is loaded up, and suddenly it is 16-15. The lead changes hands, and we are into the second technical timeout. We have a new team in front. We shall be back with more of your PVL.
I have yet to give him one from his own school, from UP. That's, that's, that's coming. But what has Akari done so much better here, uh, Jamie? I mean, they're able to get that side out right away. Better first ball as well. And you have Janine Marciano who had instant impact earlier. More sets to PP Sharma. I think the offense is more spread out and not as too predictable Good as point. the first set. Now Van Sickle swings back to the back row, but not without scoring her 14th point. Wow. Red Hot Bang Pineda. I love the fact she has transitioned into a great libero. Chi Syed sends it to Sabete. High up in the air. Ah! I think Eddie went, Eddie went under the ball. Yep, under the ball in that sequence. That is her first error in this entire match, but Akari will call for a challenge, a block touch. Look at this, uh, everywhere it says home of the Akari Chargers, and everywhere else it says Petrogas. Well, you know, this is their building. This game will decide who gets the bragging rights, yeah, I think. Yeah, parang ano eh, no? Who gets to close the store today. <laughs> it's like the... Home court. Yeah, yeah. Like the LA Lakers and the LA Clippers. I know the Clippers are moving out soon, anyway. Well, speaking of light on the... Oh. There's light on the Akari. Yeah. A flashlight. Careful. Yeah. What's there's a block to touch challenge. Now this is close and tight. If you're a carry, you want to win this set. Yes. Because you're going up against a vet team. No block touch. Didn't even reach the other side. I mean, a car needs to be careful because Brooke is at the service line. And she had three aces already in the first set. Well, you know, nothing lost, but just do it. Serve. Nice serve. Brooke has been serving extremely well here. Sawyer blasts away. Pontilias. Sabeta denied access, but keeps it alive. It's on the other side. The tag. Pontilias tosses it high. G side. Oh, that one connected. That's a beautiful set coming from G side. Not the highest, not too low. Also for Jonah Sabeta. And that's the set that Jonah likes. She has that lead. Very quick set. That swing going cross court. Yes. And suddenly from uh, tie at uh, 16, Petrogas takes two steps forward. Down the middle, cleanly done. When Akari has that first ball, they are able to execute middle block attacks. Fifi Sharma with that A quick attack. You know, Sharma is also a tall woman and she's she, she's, in, she's in control of that middle. Here comes Soyu, who has played well here today. Continuing her great performance from the last game. Montilias with a hammer. Montilias, she is the one of the go-to spikers here of the Angels. She saw it. I mean, they've mastered this connections, connection since day one. I mean, when you want to get that side out right away, you got to go to the vets. Yes. And you know, when you have Chi side on the floor, it's like you have an additional coach yes. on the floor as well. Oh, great lift up by Van Sigo. Pontillas. There's the counter push by Maragino. Problematic. Oh, boy. Lucky point for Brooke. <laughs> Set in that sequence. Very tricky. Sometimes the middle blockers, this is where the court awareness comes into play. And you know that two handed toss. Many referees, if they know you're not a setter, we'll call it against double, you. Yep. I tease the referees about it. Setter ka dati, no? I am you. No, no, no. They laugh at me, of course. I'm useless to them. Anyway, 2018 is the count there. This is the best that uh, Akari has played so far. They're not out of it. They just has to have to stay in it. Pontillas. Too tight. Oh, oh. even Sabete found that uh, a challenge. Oh, look at the veteran. Sotones going for a soft touch in that sequence, but easily blocked by Petrogas. 
Let's see that replay. Aiza Maiza Botilga has chipped in five points. Well, there's a core for Petro Gas. Gas. And right. they have they, they have not even used Myla Pablo so much as well. And Let me try. Double yes. sub here. Here's another good setter, Ivy Perez. And Baba. Free ball. Pablo is back on the floor. It's in the air. Perez makes it a set for Pablo. Just missed. A little overcooked in that sequence. We also have Baliton in now yes. for Akari as well. That's Rochelle Baliton who played for UE. 21-19. Perez. That's a good paced set. It's a double contact. Set Domingo. Set uh, middle blockers love setting. <laughs> In the meantime, a try but asked for by Coach Rafi. Chaga in lang natin. Nay inip kasi tayo eh. Gusto natin patayin kada yung bola, de ba? Pero kasi hindi yun na identify ko ano yung mga situation ng bola sa inyo, de ba? Ayaw ko, yun yung mga sinasabing maliit na detalye, pero yung mga error tayo, napupuntos dun sa kalaban. So ano dapat natin gawin? Dapat yung mga ganun, huwag natin eroran. Kasi nga, maapit na ako, crucial na eh. Okay lang nga natin. Tibayan lang natin. Tibayan lang natin. Tibayan lang natin. Magsistop. Hari! You know this game, just like American football, probably. It's a game of fractions and inches. Yes. yes. And as Al Pacino said in that movie, Any Given Sunday, we need that one inch. Exactly what you need to win a set, to be able to stay in the match. Van Sickle is in front. Good set. Mababa yata. Oh. Taas mo, taas mo. You can hear it from Sultanas. Give it back to me, but it's going in a different direction. It's inside. See the connection of Jaja Maraginot and Seth Domingo, but I think Petrogas will call a challenge, of course. <laughs> Why not? It's there. They can use it. You know, you assistants, instead of you writing down everything there, you stand up and. <laughs> <laughs> Louder, louder, sir. You know, I was teasing the coaches in the. Uh, I was hosting the uh, Spikersters press con uh, yesterday at the Discovery Suites, and I said, you know, you coaches, you start dancing so that we know it's a challenge. <laughs> they were all saying, you're crazy. In the meantime, uh, March 13, the uh, men uh, get into the party. They join. We have two games there. Boy, the sports calendar so loaded. Uh, even before Hollywood. Oh, I don't. What do you think? Inside. The piece and the piece. Very close. Look at Remy Bob. But there's also a shadow as well. Uh -huh. But it's inside. Uh -huh. Inside coming from Set Domingo on that running attack. You know, what I like also about uh, referee Jocelyn is that she will also issue what is known as the referee's challenge, but she's not sure about it. Petrogas wants a timeout. They're down, they're up by two. Okay. Everyone cover. They understand this score already using. Work brightly, work brightly. Don't do that, this score. Uh, it's okay, be charged, okay, be charged. Let's go! Petrogas, Angel! 
So much can still happen here. This game just slowly getting to its conclusion. Kathy Chutan, there she is. Executive Vice President of Tomakari. I've seen her at many of the games, actually. It's always good when the team owner is present. This is such a joy to watch. In the athleticism of Brooks going for that cross-court attack. Beautiful set also by Ivy Perez. But this is where the maturity needs to come in from Akari. Yes. You're going up against a vet team. Seth Domingo battling against Galdon is there. Seth wants it back, but becomes a fake. Oh, wicked shot by Soltones. Soyun. Sabete with two strong hands. Muntik ng regalo. Push. Perez lifts it high. Becomes a set. Ah, Marina Pablo. Too tempting. A little too eager in that sequence. Myla Pablo could have just popped it up for that first contact. Because she has spent so much time not playing also. She suddenly was fielded, got so excited. I want to score a point. You're right. So Coach Cody, smart move, not changing her yet. Give her some time. Uh, yeah, to her, warm up. Give her a chance to make up. Make Bowie. Alive, alive, but dead in the water. Now, these are the breaks of the game. And now the details the that detail. what Rami yes. was talking about. And you see Akari actually rising above to the small details, the miscues here. This is this is really a test for Akari. Oh, they got to stay in the fight here. This is uh, the middle rounds of uh, this heavyweight battle between the two teams that work out here. The bragging rights who owns the building today. This is just the second game in the three-game schedule. So Don is serving. Nice hit. I mean, you have to give it to Van Panetta, though, for being there at the right spot. And reading where yes. it was most likely to go, but it is set point. First set went the way of Petrogas at 25, 21, and 33 minutes. I'm sure this is so much longer. Scythe, yes, it is. Nicely done, uh, Janine Marciano. Already three points by Janine Marciano being that Magic Bunod here in this second ah, set. Well said. Off speed attack. And they keep it close. The they moves. save one set point. In the air. Oh! Well done. that down the line being that lefty opposite spiker she saw it she has lots of weapons here yes you know anywhere you go you have somebody you can rely on it's a 25 23 second set Isa Maiza Fontelius delivering some key points here not yet in double digits but already a factor and uh, let's check on the time how much it took for this uh, second set to be completed, but take nothing away from Makari. They slugged away. They kept it close and tight. And look at that. Just by two minutes, a difference in the first two sets.
we have been talking for an hour and eight minutes, excluding the introduction earlier today, and we are not complaining at all. Why? Because it's been a great battle between these two teams. What you like about the Kari, yes, the other side, they have veterans, they have more experienced players. But they're not blinking. Right. They're looking at the Petrograd straight. Oh. I thought they'd take that second set, actually. I mean, it was a neck and neck battle in the second set. Akari really fighting it out. Better defense, better first ball. Jaja Maraguino setting the right person at the right time. Magic Puno, let's not forget Janine yes. Marciano for stepping up. Also, Eli Soyud. But on the side of the Petrograd Angels, Aiza is the key player in that second set. Not in double digits, but had the most impact with just five points alone. Better production from B Brooke as well. As you see the set two stats on your screens, 12 attacks from Makari and 19 from Petrogas. So you see that disparity in attacks. Three blocks from Makari and one from Petrogas. But a lot, of, a lot of the attack, uh, a lot of the points rather from Akari are not being converted into points. And that's the difference between here. You have seven more attacks on the side of Petrogas. In our third game, it will be Farm Fresh against Cherry Tigo. And of course, uh, Kumpur Reyes is the coach of Cherry Tigo. He has a game going on, or probably done already. I have no idea as of now. And I think he'll make it with the way this battle is being fought so fiercely here. Now, you're down two sets. If you're Akari, what's topmost in your mind going into the third? Of course, you want to win the set. I mean, they have to minimize the errors, and it really starts with the first ball. That is something that was lacking in the first set, but leading scorers here, Soy with seven, Sol Sol Soltones with six. Now on the side of Petrogas, Van Sickle with 17 points, the only player in double digits, Sabete with eight, and Pontilias with six points. Better attacking is needed on the side of Akari. We have Janine Marciano starting now in this third set, Magic Bonnet also in that second set. So let's see how she will play out in this third set. You know, Janine has always been an energetic player. She yes. Always, uh, she's like a decathlete, actually. She can do any event. Oh, that's a kick. That's allowed. Look at that. She could play football. Good lift up that time by Mara Gino. Soyun. Tumama sa antena. It will go, however, to uh, Akari breaking the ice. Talk about the efficiency of Eli Soyu. Every time she gets at the ball, instant point. And that is a very effective wing spiker on your right. But talking about Janine Marciano, she has limited playing time. Yes. But making an impact, she did not play in their last match against Farm Fresh. So you see, this is where the maturity and the vet moves is coming out and helping her team here. That's a great point. That's very good. That means then that's blocked. Janine with a hand on that. Another hand on it. Soyud elevates it. Maragina gives it to the person who blocked it. Why not? I mean, Janine Marciano being that instant impact in this set. This is what he called vet moves here. And she has quickly contributed four points and it's a jump out of the gates by the Akari Chargers. If we're called Chargers, you better be in charge. Oh, however, the momentum yep. broken. Disrupting, disrupting rather the momentum here. And it's served by Said Domingo. Count is at 2-1. Akari with the early lead. Van Sickle. How does she do that? Just above the net. So you digs it over. And high efficiency coming from Eli Soyud. Nine points by Soyud. 200 points for Franny. Go, Franny. I got to actually watch the end of that second set from the bench of the Akari Chargers, and you could tell how much the girls wanted to take that set. However, breaks of the game did happen, and they had a very technical huddle with Coach Rafi before this set. He was reminding the girls of their blocks and the way they positioned themselves on the court. Now, Janine Marciano has been phenomenal in that set, and she continues to 
do what she can as a veteran in this team. She's playing smart, and that's something that Coach Rafi wants to see from the rest of the Akari Chargers. Now, before the end of the huddle, they were telling each other it's time to change their mindset. Play the Akari way, but make the adjustments they need if they want to stay alive in this match. This report was brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Download it now for only 149 pesos. Let's go back to the game. There's a challenge, but did you see the handwork? It's the dunk from oh, Remy Palma. <laughs> And by the way, going back to Franny's report about the blocking, Akari is number two in blocking in the tournament so far with an average of 2.36%. You think that's not, that's not enough? You just block once, that's a big thing already. In the meantime, uh, we await the decision on this particular challenge. Yeah, boy, we'll have tons of challenges here in this, this set, really. That fault challenge. Still nobody goes, oh yeah, I'll, I'll go to that later. You, let's do this, net touch, what do you think? No net touch. Not by Remy, no. It's a clean attack coming from Remy Palma. Mukha pang si Rosel balito ng tumama eh. Yeah, challenge is unsuccessful. Here's Baliton. She saw it, elevates it very high. I said. So you decides to push it over. Palma becomes a setter. Back row is at work. Soltonis is there. That one just threw! And the set was actually a little bit too high for Janine Marciano, but she was able to make a way. She went early in her approach, but I mean, a point is a point. Five points by a player who has come off the bench. They can develop their chemistry. Oh, this, is, this is hurting them. Yeah. And you have eight seconds to serve. You take your time, breathe. <laughs> Maybe the adrenaline rush of Janine. But you know, Jamie, you sometimes can get so excited there when you're right. getting some points together. Gotta, you're right, you gotta calm down, take a deep breath. You have time. Yeah, Marciano. Soltonis punches it to the back row. Here comes a set. Sabete, one handed pickup by Maragino. Here comes Soya, who flies. Here comes the pickup by Sayed. Sabete says, take that. Bang Pineda says, I'm here, don't worry. Soltonis gets it to crawl. The help of the net there, Soltonis. Going for that cross court attack. You know, Gretchen has learned how to manage that natural power. When uh, I remember so many years ago when she was starting, I thought, this woman is so strong. Uh, when she was strong. starting out for San Sebastian with the coach Roger Gurayeb. You serve. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Normally, with a float serve like that, it actually moves in the air, and people don't realize the impact when it touches your forearms it's actually yes. very heavy it messes oh uh, yeah that's that's the better description heavy. you think you have control over it yep. in the meantime this is another wasted serve you know Akari is allowing Petrogas to stay close to them yes. and this is what coach Rafi has been saying that in the timeouts I mean go back to the basics Serving, digging. Nice receive. Mm. And look at this. Petrogas just finding a way to come back. They were down already by two and we're tied again. One hour and eight minutes for Petrogas to establish a two set to love lead. Good set. Mm, wow. Set Domingo with a graceful attack there. It's a running attack coming from Set Domingo. Better connection with Set and Jaja. Going for that zone two, that sharp cross court. You know, you see Set, I see her cheering up her new team here. It's a very new light, I would yes, say, good point. for Set Domingo. It's not the easiest, especially coming from the Clean Line Cool Smashers. Yes. And 
now adjusting to a new system, new coach. And the faces are no longer the same. Eight it's right. different personalities. Two-point lead by Akari will be back. Arena Plus, Astig Sports, 8-6 is the count here in this third set. The first two sets going the way of Petrogas with different counts, 25-21, 25-23. This woman has been on fire. San Domingo, I like your point about the fact that she's also trying to play a leadership role here, trying to get this team to stick together. They, they still have to form their bonds. They're gelling, got to adjust to Jaja's setting, Cobb's setting as well. You know, the other side is so accustomed to three setters, <laughs> you know? Soyuk denied access, but she got yep. to whisk it against the block. She scores in it, and they have a three-point lead. Soyuk was actually trapped in that sequence with Brooke. I mean, take a look at the locking formation of Brooke, but Ellie saw it being smart in that sequence. I love it when the coaches try to issue a signal from the bench, you know, to tell them where to serve it. They hide it. In the meantime, there's Coach Rafi jumping up and down. It's Chuck. Referee Joy does not agree with Coach Rafi. Anong tawag? She, Coach Rafi want a, li a lift, you know? That is not challengeable. That, I was just going to say that. They That's don't have, not they need to add that. It's Lifting not, challenge. Not challengeable. So you whips it in. Tight. Back row attack. Weapon coming from the back girl. All business coming from Jonas Sabete. Spike of the set at the Chengyu of Duncan, Pasalubong ng Bayan. And the meantime, good counter. And Eli Soyud, talk about efficiency here. Perfect connection between Jaja Maraginot and Soyud. When they want that side out right away. Gotta go to Soyud here on the right pin. And she has come into her own here, and she will continue to be a reliable part of this Akari team. What a smart move. I believe that's her first off-speed attack here in this third set. We're not used to seeing her without those off-speed attacks, usually going for that power hit down the line or cross court. Because that was what was they, they were expecting, yes. actually. Bang was already in the back. Yes. Here's G Syed, Bang Pineda. So you she's hitting it on the hands, you know. Yes. She doesn't want to go through the blocks. Yep. Those small alleys. She wants to get it off the hands. On the tips of their fingers. Take that power. Manage that. Which means that there's a lack of press on the block of yes, Petrogas. Agree. 11 9 tally. Ooh. Push ups. So you Taps it in. Left-handed stab and oh my god. How many years have we seen that from Isa Maisa of Montelia? Such dead moves coming from the right pin. Very chill, calm and collected. Most of them I would say along with Chisayat. 
She will kill me for this. It's hard to believe she's 35 years old. Aging backwards, I guess. Ay, 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 ay. Soltones pounds the hardwood. She was there. And of course, it's Brooke who's serving. Had three aces in the first set. And you're counting correctly. Four aces already in total, 20 points in this game. And more to come. Ate, sabi mo Pineda. Oh, what a set. Pineda is there. Soyed will not force the issue. Reverse. So smart. Nothing too flashy coming from Jonas Sabete, just targeting the hands of that Akari block. You know, in a team, you need at least three weapons. You have Otilias, you have Brooke, Brooke, and you have Sabete. Sabete. You know, we were talking about this off air. Petrogas now has a closer in Brooke, which they needed. I mean, Sabete yeah, okay. needs help. Aizen needs help. Remy Palma needs help. It's really a collective effort. Big Porciento player who will deliver when it's bad. Uh oh, that you can spe see the spin of the ball. Middle blockers love the setting. <laughs> but you, you have to work on it, really. Yeah, of course. Behave. <laughs> Rev rejoicing, behave. Or else. Nice serve. Oh. Nice flight. You know, I saw Janine Marciano's reaction. A little bit too frustrated. I mean, she was there positioned in the right way, but I mean, being that lefty opposite spiker, so many tricks of oh, the game. The oh, yeah. Marciano. Not again, it says, let me try. All the attacks, all the attacks, Sir Seb, are coming off the block. Not clean attacks, just tooling the block of Akari. Coach Rafi wants to huddle up his team and call it behind here by two. Diba? Ay, hintayin mo umontak. Tsaka mo ibigay yung kamay mo. Para talaga sakto yung block. Ay, tamo naman yung tama, di ba? Sa lubong. So, meaning, alisik talaga ang gusto niyong mangyari. Okay? Ay, palayo. Tsagain lang natin. Ha? Tsagain natin. Tsagain natin. Okay. 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 RPTV now, official and exclusive the channel of the Pampanzang League and Bayan on free to air. Sama sama, at sabay sabay nating sumay bayan ang PBA Season 48 Philippine Cup. Lat ng games live dito sa RPTV para sa Pinoy. Sama sama, sabay ba, sabay sabay, sumay bayan. Ano tayo? Naman talaga, may ini tapak bakan dito. 14-12 ways ko natin. Got Michelle Cobb now in for Akari. Oh, that served long. Michelle Cobb, the uh, starting setter, is dispatched anew. Player of the game also. You know, they, uh, they seem to have a good attitude. Okay, sige, laban tayo. <laughs> What's the point in feeling bad? Marciano. Sabete, how many times in this set have they hit many to out? Count. Hit out. And to think that Akari is number two in blocking, yes. they're completely outsmarting their greatest skill set. And such crafty hitters, although that one did not work for Sabete that time around. Kari's trying to stay alive. They need uh, a series of points here. Balitong will be serving. 
when you look at the body language also of Patrick Ash, you'll never really know if they're up or or down. Yes, I agree. So this is where the mysteries happen between Cobb and Mama D. If, is that Mama D? Is that Cobb? This is where the communication comes in. And we have it at 16.14. The technical timeout is on us. Diyan buong araw. Hindi ako magsasalita. Mahirap. May, yung tambol na sa likod ko eh. Mahirap ka sabay yan. Mahirap ka awa yan. Pero ito, I am just, just so impressed by these volleyball smarts of this Akari, of this uh, Petrogas team. Hitting against the block. Let them commit the error now. Nicole Champson. Yes. First time to see action here today. Arena Plus. The Sticks of Sports. Don't forget that. You know, the Akari setters can't seem to perfect that B quick attack set for Sed Domingo. I think the sets are a little bit too low for Sed. Wow, do we have a, ch do we have a challenge? Parang, hindi uh, na Yes, they will. What is it? What's the expression here? You know, I can't blame them, but they're hanging on to straws yes. right now. Yes. Anything that will change the uh, mood of the game, which is now swinging towards Petras. This is unfortunate because they were leading in the set. Huh? No, and off air we were talking about the experience of no block touch. Okay. The set was also a little bit too low for set Domingo. Here we go, 17-14. Jumps on will serve. Two challenges left. I think that's the instruction that uh, Joy Del Rosario is issuing. Our two referees working well here together. They serve. And then Santiago Manabat. This is what we've been saying in this third set. The weak spikers of Petrogas just using their smarts here, touching the outer hands of the Akari block. Nothing fancy, nothing extravagant. Just efficient. Right. Mm. Then they got the line. And then being that mm -hmm. double substitution here. Now we're going to have the Jaja Maraguino and Eli Soyer back in. I think that's also the hard part with Akari. Maraguino fielded in, Cobb fielded in, but they're not it's super it. experienced yet okay. where they can do that. Yeah. Like, with Petrogas, I mean, three setters were fielded, and I've never yes. seen 
that which also goes to show that the wing spikers are very experienced and smart because all the three setters have different styles. Yes. So if you want a low one, you want a high one, you want uh, a taller open. setter. Yes, exactly. It works. You want quick. You want A, B, I even have C. And I remember last year in the All Filipino Conference, Cheng was the main setter. And I remember she was also just so tired. Yes, that's a good point. Yeah. But then now. She hasn't have, returned to the game. Yes. She's starting up. Oh, wicked bullet. I mean, cross court attack. That is the specialty coming from Brooke here. Just avoiding the hands of that block. And she's, you know, she's having a ball here. She's enjoying herself. Akari will talk things over. Okay, and then ulitin po, hayaan mo na siyang makuha ng gap. Pero yung cross court, kuhanin mo. Naintindihan? Ha? O sige. Kasi wala na lang. Oh, Saka, lang, okay. lang. Okay. Okay. Sa okay. Hey, dandahan lang natin. Tsagayin lang natin yan. Lima lang yan. Okay. Down, sige. Laruin nyo. Laruin nyo. Laruin nyo. Laruin nyo. Laruin nyo. Laruin nyo. Tsagayin nyo. This is a very young team. Has uh, undergone Akari, undergone some changes. Also, Jorge De Brito was former coach, the former national coach from Brazil. Now with the new coach, trying to adapt to new players, new system. Same thing with Petrobras, actually. That's too long. Very close, though. Almost nicking yeah, the almost, line there. Almost. Hala ko makukuha. But it'll count to 16 to 20 as Soltones will return to the service area. <laughs> Blocked. So you cut it, side it, lifts it high. Van Sickle hits the hands. And she's even into that party. Brooke, this is also what happened in their last match against the high-speed hitters off the block touches, and the opponent can't seem to get a press on that block. Uh, if this holds, Petrogas will climb to 3-1 and one in the team standings, but will still be behind the three top teams because of the loss, uh, but PLDT also at 3-1, look at this. This has been the story of this match. I mean, Brooke all around open spiker, whether it's attacking or blocking. Yes, and a move brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. Picture perfect here. Petrogas very unfazed yes, that's by the movements of Akari. Appropriate uh, description. Six point lead. Jam. And that's the combination play that they tried going for in that first set, the back quick attack. Galdones brings them closer to the finish line. Brings the heat in that sequence. Kesselin Galdones, also a former Tigress. Okay, she got that. Sharma got that in. Vicky Sharma aggressive in the net, at the net rather. So it'll be back to the drawing board in this very bu building where Akari uh, trains. This is their home. They stare on the uh, sign over there. Down deep under Sultanes, lifts it from the floor. Off the floor, that is. Wow. <laughs> Bonus with that eight quick attack. She saw it. I mean, that's the job of a setter, allowing your spikers to shine. And we are at match point. And it'll 
do it. It's out. That'll do it for this match. It is over. Unless there's not, they won't challenge it anymore. So uh, a big win by Petrogas. Decisive, authoritative. That will improve uh, their standings at three and one, tying them with BLDT. But Signal, Dreamline, and Chocomucho still lead because of the 3 0 because they made losses. That's right. And I mean, with this setup, only the top four teams will make it to the semi. So it's important that you rack up these wins now before it's too late. Before the tournament format kicks in and says, What happened? And Jonas Sabete has been a producer here. Three weapons Sabete, Van Sigal, Remy Palma, and Proud. One more, Galdonas even joined the party right. uh, towards the end. I mean, lethal weapons coming from the left pin, from the right pin. It's very easy for the setters. An easy job, I would say. Yes, 28 minute action in the third. We'll wrap this up with our talk with the uh, player of the game as well as the road ahead. Okay, we have the uh, Petrogas Angels bowing to the fans, and uh, a job well done. And uh, look at this, they did this in an hour and a half. I mean, smooth sailing on the side of the Petrogas Angels, a veteran team, a team that sometimes they say doesn't even need a coach. <laughs> but I mean, Petrogas Angels winning in three set fashion, lethal weapons on the left pin. You have Sabete, you have Brooke, you have Remy Palma, Galdonis with a beautiful eight quick attack in that third set. Just too many weapons, and Akari couldn't get it. Go straight, let's go straight to Prani, who's with our best player, Brooke Van Sickle. I'm with our best player of the game, Brooke Van Sickle, who is gassed after a three set victory. Now, Brooke, tell me what helped you and your team stay so consistent for this win. Yeah, as, um, we got in a couple little ruts, I feel like, as the game went on, and we just had to do a good job of, you know, if it's not going our way, just clean slate it next point and just keep moving on and stay together as a team. So I thought we did really well with that today. Yeah, and you guys adjusted very well. You also told me that the team helped you adjust not just in-game, but also the, the culture or the way we play Philippine volleyball. So you, can you tell me more about how the Petrogas Angels have really welcomed you into their team? Yeah, since day one, I've felt nothing but love with my teammates and they're so supportive and I'm absolutely grateful to be a part of this team and to even be here. And yeah, they help me, you know, on and off the court every single day and I'm super grateful. Now, again, a three set victory, but there's still much more to improve on. Your next game is on Thursday against the Farm Fresh Foxies. What can we expect more from the Petrogas Angels? 
Yeah, I would say we, you know, got to clean it up a little bit with our, you know, can't give points away in long stretches. Um, definitely, we're going to be focused on recovery and watching a lot of films, so just keep at it with every practice. Thank you so much, Brooke. You deserve some much needed rest, so let's have Seven Jamie close it out for us. Thank you very much, Ryan, and congratulations to Petrogas, a well-crafted victory. I like that third set when they started hitting against the hands of the, the blockers. And Just so smart. Unstoppable. They probably had five or six straight points, actually, just to pull away uh, via that route. And I mean, you're going up against the number two blocking team in Akari Chargers, uh, Chargers but I mean, lethal weapons, I have nothing more to say because the offense of Petrogas is very smooth. And to think that they also had three setters being fielded in in this entire match. But yes, it is back to the drawing board for the car chargers. They need to polish a lot of things in terms of minimizing the unforced errors and also better first ball. I agree. And they've got to go back to the drawing board and work on this particular court, which is actually their home. And for now, it's Petrogas that will have the bragging rights of being the owners of uh, the house. And uh, let's uh, take a final look at the numbers uh, whenever they are ready. But you know, there they are. Take a look at the disparity in attacks, 36 on the side of Akari and 48 on the side of Petrogas. Same errors by both squads, but it's also the attacks that really outshine the Akari Chargers today. Okay, on that note, as we take a look at the final numbers, thank you. Jamie Lovitore and Fran Reyes for joining us for this match. It's a big win in straight sets by Petrogas. Coming up next, we'll have Cherry Tigo going up against Farm Fresh. Uh, Jamie and I are going to dance for a while. <laughs> we'll see you later.